Hi everyone, this is my second LA video and this one is on the stars, you know the pink stars that are on the floor in Hollywood. Um, it's quite an interesting story how somebody gets a star, you know obviously a committee decides who's going to uh, famous enough to get a star, but then they are asked if they actually want one and if they say yes then there are two conditions. One is that they have to turn up for the ceremony and this was put in place after one star didn't turn up for her ceremony and uh, all the press and fans were there and she wasn't so they put that in place and the other is that they have to pay some money towards having the star put down there. Anyway it's quite an honour as you can imagine and so I decided to take 29 photos of stars and uh, and here they go. The first star you're going to see is that of Pierce Brosnan. Now I took this photo not just because he is a good actor and was 007 but because his name's Brosnan. My family name. Couldn't miss him out could I? Next I'm putting on a group of stars that I'm calling oldie stars uh, and the reason I've called them this and grouped them together is that um, I knew of all these when I was a kid through my mum and dad of course so uh, they are Bob Hope who actually has four stars it's a bit greedy but he was a good actor and loads of other things so he got four stars um, but I knew him because of the road movies that he did with Bing Crosby. My mum loved them, loved the road movies. So we watched them over and over and over again. <laughs> she loved Bing Crosby mainly, but that's how I got to know Bob Hope. Anyway, the others are Barbara Walters, Greta Garbo, Glenn Ford, Alfred Hitchcock, Debbie Reynolds and Stan Laurel. Stan Laurel was one of my dad's all-time favourites. He would laugh and laugh and laugh at his movies. No matter how many times he'd seen that movie, or if he saw it over and over and over on the same day, he would still laugh as hard at the star as he did at the finish. He just rolled about laughing, he loved him. Anyway, so he, that's why I had to put him in there. So that's that group, the oldies. The next five stars you'll see are Celine Dion, David Bowie, Elton John, The Carpenters and Carol Bayer Sega. So their connection obviously is music but I have two stories to tell about two of these stars. So the first one is Celine Dion, of course Canadian so I had to be in there but the main reason I put her in there is that I was fortunate enough to see her in concert at the old Wembley Stadium in London. It was the final concert before they tore that stadium down and built the new Wembley. And uh, I have my brother, Timothy, to thank for this because he bought me the tickets and he came along too. And uh, obviously Michael, and we had, you know, a blast. It was really good. He bought me them for my birthday and so thank you Timothy hope to see you soon if all goes well with this trip and uh, so that's the reason I chose Celine and the other one is the Carpenters and I chose them because of Karen Carpenter I loved Karen's voice 
and still do. I think she's one of the best female singers ever. I just loved her voice and I'll listen to her whenever I can. Um, I was so sad when she died. As I recall, I did cry. <laughs> Even though I'd never met her and didn't know her, I just love her music. So that's the two stories behind those five of those stars. The next three stars are William Shatner, James Doohan and Patrick Stewart. If there are any Trekkie fans out there watching this video, then you'll recognise those names. I actually didn't recognise James Doohan's name, but Michael insisted I took that photo as he is a big fan of Scotty from Star Trek. And William Shatner, of course, very famous Canadian and Patrick Stewart. Now, if I had to choose a captain, I actually wouldn't choose either of those guys. I would have chosen Janeway, <laughs> but I couldn't see hers anywhere, star that is. So if I had to pick between one of those two as my captain to safely get me back home, it would have to be Patrick Stewart because he always looks like he knows what he's doing and he's suave of course sophisticated good looking so it'd be a really happy journey home <laughs> anyway that's what i think let me know what you think who'd you pick william shatner or patrick stewart or janeway So my next group are all actors and they are Christopher Reeve, Ryan Reynolds, Daniel Ratcliffe, who obviously I put in for Sherry again, Robin Williams, Charles Bronson, Bruce Willis, Richard Dreyfuss and Sigourney Weaver. So Christopher Reeve was my favourite Superman by far. So that's why he's in. Uh, Robin Williams, just, he was so funny. Uh, some great films. And Sigourney Weaver, last but by no means least, because what a great actress she is. Um, I love the Alien series, and Aliens, the second one in that series, is by far my favourite. So I can watch it over and over again and have done and probably will do in the future. So there's the eight in that group. The next two stars um, I put in just a bit of fun. I didn't realise that cartoon characters can also get a star, but they do. And so the next two are from that group and they are Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny. Hope you like them. Nearly at the end now. My next two are Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. Obviously I put them together because of Mary Poppins, a lovely movie, 
and then Julie Andrews also for her role, starring role in Sound of Music. That's another film that I have watched like hundreds of times. I love it. Sing along to all the tunes and the songs are great and she's really good in it and I really like the story. So there we go, Julie Andrews, Dick Van Dyke. The Last Star is, in my opinion, the greatest boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali. And he was a really good entertainer, out of the ring. Um, now his star is very easy to recognise because, unlike the others which are on the floor, and you just walk on them as you go along, his is up on the wall. And the reason for that was because of his religion. He said his religion wouldn't allow people to like walk all over his name like they do everybody else's. And so because they still wanted him represented there, they allowed his star to be put on the wall. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, looking at all the stars. Let me know in the comments below which stars you'd have liked to have seen if you'd been with me uh, walking through Hollywood. And if you like this video, please put a like there and subscribe to my channel for more videos while I'm on this epic journey. Take care. Cheers.